Welcome back to physics lab. We have already done conceptual part of the experiment on concave mirror. So the aim of the experiment to find a refractive index of a liquid. At the moment we are using water by using a concave mirror. In our conceptual part, we have already learned the ray diagram, how you get the image, how to find the refractive index. So also, you already know in your school level what is a concave mirror and I too have done some explanation regarding the concave mirrors. So the concave mirror we have three in number. So the aim of the experiment is to find the refractive index of a given liquid which is water by using concave mirror. So the apparatus required is a retox tank, optical needle, half meter scale, Three different concave mirrors of different focal length, liquid is water and a dropper. So we have to start now. So let's take one of the mirror I keep it here and then what I do is I keep this exactly above the mirror. So we have to insert the needle inside this clamp. You can see the image which is pointing in the same direction as the object. Now what I do is I slowly raise the pin above the mirror and I can find that the image is getting magnified, magnified and almost disappears. Actually it's there but it is covering the whole mirror. I take it still above, above at one particular position. I can see the image. What I do is, I just fix that position and then what I do, touch the tip of the image and then I move my head and I can see that they are not moving together and there is parallax. Now I can see the inverted image and I can find that the object T is moving faster, okay. If the object pin is moving faster compared to image, then you to decrease the distance. That means we are not at an exact position of the center of curvature. But there is a relative motion between the two. So if the image is moving faster, you need to increase the distance. And if the object pin is moving faster in comparison with the image, you need to decrease the distance. So I have removed the parallax and got the wave. So, I got the reading at the radius of curvature. I have already explained in my conceptual part. If you have forgotten, kindly click the link in the description box and see the conceptual part of this experiment. So, when the object is at radius of curvature, you will get the image also at the radius of curvature and we have got it. So, I think our radius of curvature is in the range of 22.2. Now, I have uh, taken a dropper and put some water on top of the mirror so that we get a thin film of water. Now you find that the object pin and image are not moving together. What is the reason behind it? Refraction. The object pin has got refracted and we are now getting image somewhere else. So let's see where we get the image. So again we need to see inside. I find that the object pin and the image pin are not moving together. So now I can I find that the object pin is moving faster. So I keep on decreasing the distance and at one particular position I find that they are moving together. So I make that pitch touch and I get the distance. This is the distance where we get Accurate radius of curvature. Now the object pin has got refracted and we get the apparent radius of curvature. So again, whenever you perform experiment with the eye, where eye is involved, and when you continuously see that, your eyes get strained down. At one position, you cannot see anything properly. That is the time you need to take some rest. Just do this way and again open your eyes. And then again see the image and object. If there is a parallax, it will be very clear to you. I find a little parallax over there. 
The relative motion of the image is a uh, little more than the object. And now again I go for the accuracy. Now I can accurately see that they are moving together. So this is the second reading we are getting. So now when we take the reading, we need to see that the ruler is exactly touching the surface of water. Exactly, it should not be. And then we need to take the reading. And I get the reading somewhere around 17 centimeter. So at 17 centimeter, I get the reading. So now in the first part, first we have taken the first concave mirror. We have taken the reading, the real uh, radius of curvature. Now we have already put water on this and we have taken the second reading. And we got the second reading as 17 centimeter. So we have to find out the reflective radius of water. So 22.3 is the real radius of curvature divided by apparent radius of curvature and we get the value as 1.31. Now you know very well for pure water the refractive index is 4 by 3 that is 1.33. But when we are performing an experiment we are bound to get some errors and they are allowed. So we get the value as 1.31. Let's repeat the experiment for other two mirrors and after performing the experiment for the other two mirrors I get the readings in the observation table. You can see and we get the three different uh, observations and we get the mu that is the reflective index of water which is almost a constant 1.31, 1.31 and 1.33 so we need to take the average average is 1.32 so it's very very close to the real value and therefore our experiment is successful so we have found the reflective index of water by this method Again, I repeat, if you want to know actually why we get this formula, real radius of curvature or not apparent radius of curvature, uh, you have to click the link in the description box for concepts and learn the things. So, that's all. Thank you very much and see you once again for the next session for much more interesting experiment. Thank you once again.